remember that Senator Chuck Grassley was among lawmakers who had asked uh, Milan, the maker of EpiPen, for information about the price increases that went into that product. He had set a deadline of uh, September 6th and says now that they've received a seven page letter from Milan. Uh, that result, he says, is an incomplete response. He says, quote, uh, I appreciate the information provided, but it's an incomplete response and wouldn't satisfy my constituents who are upset about the EpiPen price increases. It doesn't provide the full picture that I requested and it doesn't answer all of my questions. He says it doesn't go far enough to explain the price increases, also doesn't go far enough to explain whether patients are helped enough by patient assistance programs. He says he will continue to push for answers. He also linked to Mylan's seven-page response, and they start out by saying that Mylan is more than any one product, and that price decreases they've taken across their portfolio have led to an annual price decrease of 1%. Over the last five years, Melissa, Milan down there about 1.8 percent. Meantime, Meg, we also got news today that Teva plans to introduce its generic version of the EpiPen by 2017, late 2017. Is that later than expected? Is that actually good for Milan, which is now going to sell a generic version of the EpiPen for 300 bucks? Well, so there was some uncertainty about whether and when Teva was going to be able to return with its application for the uh, EpiPen generic. I think folks are curious to know why it got rejected in the first place, and so there will be some curiosity about whether they can sort of figure that all out and have the real identical product that they need to have to actually get the go-ahead. As you have pointed out before, there have been questions about Mylan's own generic and whether that was kind of a, a smart move on their part to corner the generic market as well as the branded market before they have competitors. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.